All yours. Whenever you want to start. Yeah. Put away from your friends. Okay. I think they will come. Start. I hope. Okay. Professor Dennis. Yeah. Uh, I, will, I will thank you very much for your attention for me. I left alone. <laughs> you, you didn't left alone me. Yeah. So I'm coming with the, this title, Determinant of... I, I, say, I say the best for last. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so this is uh, my title. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Determinant of interest-free banking and the finance product adoption in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a dissertation proposal research idea yep. presented uh, for uh, Professor Dennis. Yep. So le, le, this is my outline of my presentation. Yep. My first point is why I select this title, my research motive. Secondly, I'll talk about the background statement of the problem, uh, objective, significance of this study, and then uh, some uh, uh, review of later measures, and then conceptual framework. Finally, I will present the methodology of this research. So, uh, why I'm coming with this title? The first issue is that the, this is the Ethiopia is a country of. Zelle? Diverse nation, uh, a nation with uh, a nation with um, more than 110 million people, and with uh, diverse culture and ethics, um, ethnics. So I wanted to bring this the issue of industry banking to discussion by all stakeholders, stakeholders. Uh, uh, this form of finance is sometimes called modern bank because it is slightly different. The modality is different from the conventional banking, the normal banking system and the finance system. So some also call it ethical banking because uh, it encourages ethical dealing of business. Some call it an alternative banking. Uh, uh, some also call it social banking because it is uh, uh, the bank is advocate social justice in the system. So uh, my other intention is that uh, it is Islamic bank or in the finance class can improve to serve the disadvantaged peoples or those uh, especially in the rural areas, those who are forgotten from the overall financial system. So, uh, uh, because uh, I'm part of, uh, I have a lot of families in the rural areas. Uh, we are also in Ethiopia, uh, uh, urbanization is less, only uh, less percentage of people are living in urban area. So it's by, it creates a kind of access. This form of finances bring a kind of access to those areas. So uh, the other intention is that kind of to bridge the gap between the users, even the service providers. The service providers, uh, there are a lot of arguments regarding the modality, regarding the profitability, uh, and the some issues. The, uh, so I want to bring some, bridge the gap. More importantly, I want to contribute toward this inclusive growth and the development. So a, a development system, in which no one is left behind, uh, which is includes us. So when I come to my background of study, uh, Ethiopia as a nation, we have envisioned to, uh, to become a low and middle income country by 2025. So uh, in line of that, Ethiopian economy is growing relatively nearly uh, at 10%, even the figure is argumentative. Uh, uh, this, growth is highly accelerated by the growth of service sector, uh, uh, which is overtook the agricultural sector. So uh, in the growth of this system, the Ethiopian economy, the, the role of financial institutions, both depository and non depository institutions are uh, 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 significant because 
in uh, our country, the whole economy is based on banking system, not on market system. The banks are the dominant to run the economy. So uh, this form of financing, non-interest financing is growing globally. There are new market interests. Uh, the, the industry is growing, getting a lot of acceptance by uh, not only Muslim countries, including non-Muslim countries. Uh, uh, the Malaysians are the leading, Indonesia, uh, even the uh, Uganda, India, UK, Germany, US is also part of that, Canada, Singapore, Thailand, and so on. So the industry is encouraging in, uh, in Ethiopia because of uh, that Ethiopia is uh, uh, um, kind of uh, adjusting its regulation, its banking uh, procedure to accept, to include this uh, form of uh, banking system. So the effort have been made to expand the service still, despite the effort made by a government and uh, by National Bank of Ethiopia, still people are shying away from this system because of different factors, uh, 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 which is might be related to different misconception about this system operation and so on. Uh, uh, still in Ethiopia by today, we have uh, 19 commercial bank, 19 commercial bank, uh, 17 are private, two are uh, 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 government uh, bank. They have on average serving up to 20,000 people as the source says. So from those or banks, 10 out of 19 commercial banks are offering this uh, interest-free banking in the finance products, interest-free banking in the finance product uh, in different uh, type of products are there. So still today, uh, interest-free banking, the finance service are generally in infant. It's not growing because of due to social cultural misconception, misunderstanding about the, the, these products, whether it is profitable or not profitable because the banks are getting a lot of profit by charging interest. That is uh, by, from the low-level income. So this is no, no interest. So even because of attachment of Islam, the word Islam is there uh, in the system because of that people are, uh, this form of finance is only for Muslims. Even the sh Sharia issues, Sharia issues, Islamic law issues are also some factors which are making slow the growth of the, uh, uh, the banking system, this form of system in a country and not um, uh, in Ethiopia and then the rest of the world. So when I come to the problem statement, so uh, uh, when we talk about uh, financial institution, their main goal is to uh, mobilize resource uh, by too much mobile saving, by raising too much saving. So, but this resource mobilization is, uh, it will be depend on different factors especially willingness of customer to use the products which provided by financial institution. Bank customers are, would select the bank that is perceived will result most, most benefit considering their attitude in the motive. So um, it depends whether to go for bank or not to go bank. Uh, it it, it depends on different factors. Uh, Interest-free banking service are meant to deal with problem of those are excluded from the banking system due to different factors. There are also, so there is a strong evidence that many African Muslims are shying away from the conventional banking system because of their religious reason, uh, because of their belief, the, uh, uh, because of their religious practice. Um, so uh, in Ethiopia, National Bank of Ethiopia is arguing that there is a strong demand for interest-free banking in the finance products. Um, in collaboration with World Bank uh, Group, Ethiopia has uh, established some kind of national financial inclusion strategy. The, the, as part of this national financial inclusion strategy, Ethiopia is formulating different reforms, different reformers. Uh, even very recently, Ethiopia is reforming key financial regulation uh, uh, and the rules, like that of national digital uh, strategy, uh, payment system, 
uh, allowing uh, this uh, uh, full fledged full fledged uh, interest free banking system in previous time it was only allowed under window system so uh, it's opening uh, uh, its markets and it's uh, relaxing its regulation it is relaxing uh, uh, the regulation to pave way for inclusive financial growth so this all initiative will make Ethiopia a greenfield opportunity for digital financial growth and enhance pure financial inclusion problem. So, but the fact still, despite of the government move, most Ethiopians are asking why Islamic or interest-free banking in the finance are not got strong acceptance as an alternative banking in the finance in Ethiopia. This is a question which is raised not only by Muslims, it, even by non-Muslims. So from, uh, there are different studies are done regarding acceptance of this uh, uh, interest-free banking in the finance product in the service in Ethiopia. So even they are limited, like the Bebe, Nobel, Babkala, uh, Hailu, and a few other, they are showing that uh, 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 acceptance of interest-free in the uh, products are less due to different reasons. The first reasons mentioned by those researchers are, uh, it relates to the old technological environments, inflexibility of government policies, still, still the, the procedures are not clear, especially on the financing aspect, not on the saving, how to uh, finance, how to give, uh, 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 how to apply these modalities, the, how to sell those products are uh, unknown. So uh, the, the other reason is that uh, awareness related, educational background of customers, not only customers, but also the service providers are not aware of in detail about the, this um, product and the, the modality. Uh, the other reason mentioned by those researchers are of diverse culture and of the society. So we have a rich uh, culture. Uh, uh, we are not flexible to accept new things uh, immediately. So uh, uh, these are the reasons. There are also less, less perceived alternative ad relative advantage. People are believing that it doesn't have too much advantage. So low level of customer awareness, uh, perceived complexity. Uh, they believe that uh, it's complex to uh, deal with this type of products. So non-compatibility of the products, uh, especially when it comes to the religious, it's not, uh, they are not trusting. It is compatible with Sharia law and so on. So less perceived trust and so on are limiting factor to use this uh, form of uh, product. So those prior studies ignored to address the issue of um, religious difference because we have uh, the dominant religious in Ethiopia, uh, uh, Christianity and uh, followed by Muslims and other religious also not considered because uh, um, uh, I'm starting to believe that the religious difference is one factor which is enduring the growth. They also uh, uh, ignore to include the social influence, social peer influence, uh, 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 opinion leaders influence are not dealt in detail about uh, in the prior studies. So the issue of acceptance of technology new technology, new products, new innovative products are not considered in the private study. So um, no study have used the theory of reasoned action, the theory of uh, technology acceptance, theory of uh, planned behavior is not considered in, uh, in prior research. That is uh, uh, the research gap, the research gap I'm coming with. So my questions, research questions are, these questions are, uh, which I'm going to study. How does attitudes of Ethiopian bank customer affect interest-free banking products and the service acceptance? How religiosity impacts the adoptions of interest-free uh, uh, banking in the finance products? Uh, how social influence have, uh, impacts the adoption of the use of interest-free banking in the finance product and the service? How does perceived behavioral control uh, uh, affect the intention to use these products? 
Is there any similarity or difference among Ethiopians? Among Ethiopians, because there is, I will going to consider the religious difference. Willingness to adapt this type of, of product. How adoption of this form of banking system influence the level of financial inclusion in Ethiopia? These are my questions, uh, which I, uh, which is premature that it will be developed via your comments. My general objective is the main purpose of this study is to investigate the construct of theory of reason action, theory of uh, planned behavior in terms of attitude in the social influence in the technology acceptance model with additional more modified variables uh, about religiosity, trust, awareness, complexity, convenience, advertisements, the promotion is very important, uh, financial consideration, consideration, that is the benefits, the loss, uh, which people should consider, and then other facilitating conditions like government supports, uh, uh, easiness of to use technology, and so on will be uh, my uh, objective to address uh, by considering diverse religious group. So what is the importance of this study? Uh, the find of this study expect to point out policymakers, financial institutions, uh, find ways to customize, to customize to the local context, uh, interest-free banking in the finance product to local setting and attract more customers from diverse religious group. It's not only Muslims. I'm, I'm, I am believing that this is a system, a system which can everybody use. So a group to improve financial inclusion, adapt, uh, interest-free banking potential to in line with uh, uh, sustainable development goals of the United Nations with country-specific goals. So uh, when I come to uh, prior, prior uh, researches, so the industry is growing, the uh, Islamic finance is growing, interest-free finance, non-interest finance system is growing. So uh, Islamic economic model is consumption of riba, so-called interest, the charge we uh, on the money is not uh, gambling it's strictly prohibited in order to promote social justice and the equality within the society. This is the uh, 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 Quran from the uh, other author. So in Islamic religious, trade is allowed, but interest is prohibited. So as cited in the other author, the major difference between Islamic banking and the conventional banking is lie in four fundamental of uh, uh, issues. The first is that Islamic banking prohibits uh, ghar. Ghar means excessive uncertainty, some kind of speculation, speculation, which is uh, more risky. The one who, who have more information will be to the market. The one who doesn't have a, uh, information will lose the market. This type of um, activity is not prohibited in Islamic teaching. Uh, the other is uh, a provision of gambling. Gambling is um, not uh, allowed in Islamic. Provision of unethical investments. In Islam, uh, uh, in the, this system, investment in pork, alcohol, pornography, and the other which is damaging to the society is not allowed. Uh, last but not least, it's provision of the riba. The riba means the interest. So, but the ban of interest is not only the, in the religious of Islam, rather than it's also in Hebrews, in Christian, uh, it's, it's also advocates not to use interest. So uh, there are different studies conducted on exploring the study to determine the one author, which is Suzanne, and the other uh, researcher, uh, conduct uh, explanatory study to determine the adoption of Islamic banking in different religious group in Ghana. Their study revealed that Muslims are significant users of this uh, uh, system of banking, while Christians are also used by 42%, and the other traditional religious groups are also using by 59%. Uh, uh, this shows that even non Muslims are using those services in non Muslim country. Uh, the example is Ghana. So however, another study in the same country showed that revealed that the uh, intention to use is high in the Muslim side compared to the 
non muslim side so non muslims ghanans have positive and favorable perception to islamic bank for perceived economic and cons uh, consumer welfare benefit they believe that use of this form of financing is uh, beneficial so non muslims respond to uh, do not perceive potential threats so the other reason is that people are shying away from this system is that it's considered because of attachment of uh, uh, misperception about the religious of islam with terrorism connection of terrorism because they it's source of violence it's some believe that it will be source of violence but ghanans are, do not perceive its potential for uh, violence the other study is conducted uh, some kind of detail to determine the intention of Islamic banking product found out that the attitude, government support, social influence, possess explanatory power to predict capacity to imagine customers intention to, to use Islamic banking uh, products. So uh, this is finding that the variable, uh, the, uh, people's attitude, government support, social influence is important to use or not to use this product. In Uganda, other studies reveal that the religiosity attitudes are main factor that determine intention to use banking in Uganda. Still, there is different debates going on. Some say that the profit is very important than the uh, uh, religious issues. The others say that uh, the religious is very important. The others say that economic benefit is very important and so on. However, the absence of attitude Subjective norm, uh, significant determine the intention to adapt the Islamic banking. On the uh, other hand, overall attitude, attitude, subjective norm, religiously explain uh, uh, intention to use in different researches. On contrary, others start saying the profits which matter. So uh, when we come to Ethiopia, therefore Ethiopia is multi-religious, multicultural, uh, different attitudes are there. So stating the issue of this interest-free banking in Ethiopia, considering the religious issues, the uh, attitude issue is very important. So uh, while I'm dealing this, with this uh, research, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I was proposing to use three theories. The first theory is that theory of reasoned action, which is uh, developed by Jan, uh, 1918, which states that uh, individual behavior behavior intention is determined is or her actual behavior. The behavioral intention determines or her actual behavior. So the overall idea of this theory is that assume people behave in sensible and rational manner. So uh, in the reasonable manner. So, uh, but the, there is, there was a problem in the, uh, this theory, because it's uh, it's ignore uh, the uh, the other variable, the other important variable, variable which is uh, per, uh, perceived behavioral control, behavioral control. Because it's con the first place, the theory of reasoned action is focusing on the voting behavior, one-time action only. So afterward, they are extended into theory of planned behavior. In this empirical study, though the overall behavior of individual or intention of individuals are depend on three aspects. The first is that it's, it depends its attitude. The other is its subjective norms. And the other is perceived behavioral control. Those are which is determining uh, whether to use or not to use a given activity or not to engage or not to engage in a given activity. So when we present in terms of like some kind of figurative form, so uh, the base of my conceptual framework is start from this design. So uh, if you see that intention, behavioral intention to adapt, to use, to act on a given activity depend on the individual attitude and uh, its subjective norms and uh, also perceived behavioral control uh, on the other hand, attitude also, uh, it will be depend on the others, different attitude and issues. Uh, so uh, the other theory I was proposing is that 
technology acceptance theory. So uh, uh, this is acceptance available, depend, uh, adapted from the technology acceptance model three in using the information system, users consider benefit and the usefulness of the system. So I will try to uh, uh, use some variable from this model uh, by modifying, by modifying especially the uh, perceived benefits like improvement of performance after using this um, system of Islamic banking and the easiness to use like support of technology is will be considered under my model. So overall, I was proposed to, uh, to use this kind of conceptual framework. Is it feasible? Hello? Yes, uh -huh. yes we see it. Yeah, okay. This is my overall conceptual framework, which I was uh, modified from the three theories. The three theory, theory of reasoning action, theory of planned behavior and the uh, uh, technology acceptance model. So, uh, so when we start from the end, actual use of interest free uh, banking in the finance product depends on the behavior intention to use these products behavior so what is your intention so this, your intention might be positive if it is positive you are going to use this product or to accept this system if your intention is negative you reject this product but your intention is depend on your social influence your attitude our attitude uh, I'm using uh, some kind of indirect uh, variable, so-called religious. Um, I'm putting uh, uh, as religiosity, that religious belief, religious knowledge, even religious practice is important, which determine people's behavior, people's behavior. So the other is behavioral control, your behavior is it depends on your age. So if you're younger, uh, you are attracted to use new technology, new product, new innovative idea. So the age is also matter. Your experience is matter. Your education is matter. But arguitative, uh, uh, I'm thinking that ethnicity is also it matters. It matters. Maybe after reviewing some other literature, I'll try to come a more simplified variable under behavioral control. Uh, still, the, issue, the actual use of this product is highly uh, <laughs> depend on the facilitating conditions. Facilitating conditions are especially government supports and the availability of the products. In uh, Ethiopia, availability of finance is very important. You go what, uh, in spite of your attitude, you will go to accept these issues. So easy of online use, that is the technology related. Uh, your uh, expectation for performance improvement, even the location is matters, as some literature shows. So the attitude is also determined by other awareness, complexity, convenience, and the advertisement, the trust on the service and the agent, and the, uh, more importantly, financial consideration, uh, perceived benefit. The, the other important model of this is profits and the loss sharing model of this interest-free banking modality. So in, uh, unlike the conventional banking system, uh, uh, in the system which the uh, bankers are not sharing risk rather than when you lose the, you are alone but in the interest free banking modality the banks are the products are suitable to share not only profit also loss also this is uh, will be other variable which determine our attitude so um, uh, i'm calling my friends and uh, the Professor Dennis to comment on my uh, conceptual framework and uh, others. So let me proceed. So depending on this conceptual from framework, I was proposed this research hypothesis 
So behavioral intention to adapt, behavioral intention to adapt interest uh, banking in the finance product significantly predicts, I didn't say negative, positive, uh, it will be determined in the future, uh, predict the actual use, predict the actual use of internet free banking the finance products and the service in Ethiopia. Attitude, attitude towards, attitude. This is, I'm driving from this part. First, I propose this part, and then this part, and then this part, then this part, then this part. So it goes like that. Even there is uh, the, if you see this uh, conceptual framework, religious is kind of uh, moderating variable because uh, that's, uh, I found some literatures, attitude is indirectly attitude to use, behavioral intention will be indirectly affected by religious. Social influence also will be the, the social influence to use. Interest rate banking in the finance also will be moderated by religious. I found some literatures uh, uh, saying that. So uh, based on those relationship, I develop this hypothesis. So religious will significantly influence respondent decision to use or not to use. Religious will significantly moderate, moderate the relationship between the social influence and the resp respondent decision. Religious is still uh, significantly moderate the relationship between attitude and the respondent uh, uh, decision to use or not to use. So per perceived behavioral control have significant effect on uh, uh, to add that behavioral control means the people's age, educational level, experience, and so on. Existence of facilitating conditions like government support and they also have influence. Awareness, I put together awareness, complexity, convenience, advertisement, trust, and the financial consideration has significant influence on attitude towards this uh, interest free banking in the finance products uh, uh, and the service use. So uh, when I come to the other part of the research, which is the methodology part, uh, uh, my research result is kind of mixed approach. I will go to both qualitative data and the quantitative data. So uh, uh, which is, uh, I'll go, I will find different sources uh, from, the, uh, from the secondary data to determine the uh, 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 especially quality related information. So as per the report taken from the HBank website, I found that uh, I'm trying to use three bank selectively, purposefully, uh, Commercial Bank of Ethiopia, which is the big one, uh, Oromia, Oromia International Bank, and the Dashim Bank, which have uh, those banks I've select. So proportionally, proportionally considering their uh, branch weights, I'll uh, select I will select both customers, Muslim and Muslim customers of those banks at different region, at different region. So uh, in Addis Ababa, in Oromia region, in Drido administration, uh, in the Somalia region, even I'm thinking other uh, Afar and uh, Amara region. So uh, as much as considering my budgets and uh, my time, I will try to include more. Uh, sources. So uh, different type of data, primary data. So I'll collect primary data from uh, industry bank account holders, non-holders, bankers, managers, religious scholars, like uh, uh, using different uh, collection approach, like survey approach. So um, the challenging aspect of my research is I'm using survey approach. I have to go to the bottom of the people so I will conduct some kind of key informant interview. I will select some scholars, some religious people, and I will conduct focal group discussion, uh, selected focal group discussion. So my method of data analysis, uh, it's leading me to use uh, uh, structural equation model uh, using partial list square. So because there is multivariant, multivariant technique combining different approach, 
this is uh, right now I'm getting this to be suitable for uh, my model, the model which is I'm um, using here. So uh, I'm proposing three uh, uh, equations, three equations, which is directly de derived from the conceptual framework. So uh, the first is related to the uh, actual use, actual use of this interest-free banking, the finance depend on the behavioral intention and the uh, facilitating condition, facilitating condition. So the other is uh, the other part of the uh, conceptual framework. So behavioral intention itself depend on the religiosity, uh, social influence, people's attitude, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the moderating effect of uh, religious on the social effect and the uh, attitude on the uh, religious on the attitude. The third part is attitude part, the attitude part, which is uh, uh, attitude depends on the awareness, uh, complexity of the product, uh, convenience to the one's uh, expectation, uh, the promotion, uh, trust, trust is still important, uh, financial consideration, the benefit and the uh, profit and the loss issues are important. So these are the model I proposed. So uh, while uh, for data collection, I'm planning to use for all variables, as I mentioned above, to measure using uh, uh, six point Likert scale, uh, starting from uh, strongly disagree to agree. Some authors are saying uh, six point Likert scale is better than five uh, point uh, Likert scale. So I thank you all. I will expect your comments, even questions. This is it. Okay. We get everybody in here. Okay, Abdallah, it was very interesting. Um, okay, thank you. Let me first uh let me first start off by saying you did a very nice job of outlining everything and explaining Islamic finance and interest-free banking. I guess my first one is just an observation, um, you know, is in terms of banking finance or you know more this this idea of this a uh, more of a kind of marketing you know because you're really mm -hmm. talking about the adoption of a particular product or idea and how it's influenced by all these factors and uh that's very uh that's very challenging really a little bit out, outside my area exp expertise so i'm not going to go into too many details or, or comments on it um I speak more in terms of the methodology. Um, so you have all these, you could, it's interesting that you pick structural equation modeling um, because, you know, uh, you have these variables which are really ordinal per se, and, and really they are, uh, you know, they're influenced by these paths that you have. And there's a, there's a particular type of methodology that specializes in that, um, that builds off these path dependent types of models mm -hmm. and you know the simplest one is is, is you know uh, probe it or they probe it, but they get much more sophisticated and they're very they're very closely related to structural equation modeling and you might want to you might want to look at those and so um but i you know the other thing is that you know you know this whole idea of um you pose it in terms of um this theory of reasoning, but it also in economics, this whole idea of this, this concept of rash, rational expectations. Mm. And my suggestion would be, instead of posing it based upon these socio, sociological theories that you look harder for economic theory, because I think that would serve you longer in the wrong tongue, because uh, I think in the long run, you want to be closer to the economics and finance field rather than to the sociology field. And rational expectation takes into account reasoning in terms of whether it's in the person's interest to, you know, maximize their their value, uh, and it, it talks about an adjustment process about whether there's a short term or long term, 
And most time we think about rational exploitation as it's applied to the Phillips curve. So you can find out how people think about inflationary expectations. You know, something similar could be applied to Islamic banking in terms of the, you know, it's about expectations. What is your expectation of the use of interest free and non interest free? And then my last comment, I, I really, I think that really, I think is really more interesting this whole thing of, of profit sharing, profit and loss sharing. And that's something which is, um, I think in terms of the, the variables, because that is, that is a concept, accounting concept, finance concept that has not been fully explored in terms of, uh, you know, capitalist markets, but in the socialist systems, it has been explored in terms of the whole idea of a cooperative. So, you know, you're, you're talking about the two extremes of, you know, kind of like, you know, banking or non-banking, but between not banking and non-banking is the idea of a cooperative. And a cooperative there is more profit and loss sharing. So there's, there, you're leaving out one of the, um, you know, different types of models. And a lot of people believe that the cooperative, which is used a lot in socialism, is a much more realistic alternative than this idea of, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, non-interest free banking or socialist banking per se. Not, I not, I turn it over to your other, other, other colleagues. The comments. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Mesker, you want to leave us? Have any comments, Ms. Mesker? Yes, Professor. Do you have any co comments for Mr. Uh, Abdella? <laughs> Uh, actually, I have one question, uh, if he uh, tries to clarify for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Abdullah, thank okay. you for your excellent presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, in the case of uh, interest-free banking, uh, no interest at all or what? That is not clear for me. And the other is, if there is no interest, uh, from where these banks are getting revenue and how do they compete uh, with uh, <coughs> the conventional uh, uh, banking? Co competition, competition, is it not a matter? Can, can I say something? Yes, go right ahead, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. How they are profitable is one uh, area of awareness area. Awareness area. So uh, the modality is different. Uh, it doesn't charge interest, but there is it. It get profit from commission charge. Commission charge. There is uh, when providing commission. They like other conventional bank. There is the there is service charge by providing service they will get uh, and then also when they are uh, there is uh, some products musharaka mudaraba uh, so called product because of complexity i will not go in detail so uh, in that time when the banks are buying uh, products on behalf of customers so when they are transferring to the customer they charge commission there is uh, some kind of um, uh, markup uh, even there is argument on that markup label, so they will charge markup. Uh, the other is, uh, in, in terms of uh, profit and the loss sharing, they will get earning. So you bring, entrepreneur will bring idea, idea toward those banks, those banks will finance, they will manage the projects, they will consult how to be profitable, so, uh, so when your idea is profitable, the bank will share the profits. So you are, when you are part of this bank, you are not kind of uh, creditor, a lender rather than owner, part of the bank. You own the part of the bank. So the system is uh, still, uh, 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 to be frank, Maski, I'm not fully aware of the whole model, the whole model. Some, uh, there is uh, some scholar of these models are arguing that 
more engaging on social aspects, not only profits. Sometimes they encourage investing on social welfare, social welfare, and so on. So uh, it's not on not only the profit aspects, not on the profit aspect, because uh, uh, you know that the big problem of conventional banking system is that the banks are rich, people are poor. We are poor, the banks are rich. Even in the uh, in Ethiopia, you 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 know that around Mexico, uh, you see that a lot of uh, big big building are there. Headquarter of uh, Dashim Bank, headquarter of Nib Bank, headquarter. Of, so who own those banks? That's only few people, yeah. That's the problem of conventional banking system. But if it is, uh, had it been the convention, uh, the this form of banking system, people, we, we share. We share the resource of those bankers. Not only the resource of those bankers, the loss of the risk of these banks will be shared. So uh, even like you, I'm not clear with full money. So I'm searching for literature. OK. Hmm? May I speak? Yeah, sure. OK, uh, thank you, Abdullah, for your nice presentation. Uh, it's very just uh, interesting and a new idea again, for uh, uh, our context. And I do have uh, some comments uh, on your uh, proposal. You. The, first, the first comment is uh, on your objective. Uh, uh, the general objective is just uh, uh, it is too broad, of course, uh, better to just uh, make more general rather than listing variables that you already uh, stated in your uh, problem statement. And it is better to decompose to specific objectives uh, in line with your uh, the research questions that you design. Uh, the other issue is you do have, uh, as we are observing from your conceptual framework, uh, you have a number of mediating variables, mm. uh, especially in relation to the religious uh, variables like just beliefs, knowledge, the issue of practice, mediating the behavioral influence, the attitude, the social influence, and so on. If uh, I'm observing that the direction uh, of the religious as a mediating variable between the behavioral influence and the religious one and others between attitude and uh, uh, attitude towards interest-free banking and the behavioral influence, if all of them uh, at a time influences only the behavioral issue, why you are directing to the other just variables uh, you can make uh, clear. And I think, how do you manage all these mediating variables? In addition to this, uh, in the design of your model, uh, it should, the order of the model, you do have three models uh, for estimation, yes? You have three models. And the order of the model that you uh, uh, the, 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 that you proposed already should be in order of the mediating variables. The actual use of interest-free banking should be estimated at the last because you do have different mediating variables as we are observing from your conceptual framework. It should be estimated at the end. First, you have to estimate uh, a line with attitude towards interest-free banking. And uh, at the second stage, the behavioral uh, influence about the interest-free banking. And lastly, the actual use of interest-free banking, because the order by itself is some uh, explaining by itself. The other comment that I do have for you is regarding your sampling. Uh, you proposed, as you are uh, purposively select some three banks mm. uh, for the collection of your data. 
to say that uh, what's the criteria that you developed? Uh, because why not others? Uh, that in terms of technology, in that in terms of the number of customers that they do have, that the, uh, uh, the service coverage that they deliver to their customer, what's the criteria? Why not Abyssinia? Why not Dashen? Why not just uh, uh, some other bankers? Better to take into consideration and just better to set some criteria uh, to say it's purposive. Of course, I understand that uh, the number of customers uh, for each bank is very large and just uh, nationwide. But uh, better to set some criteria for justification purpose. Uh, the other issue in for uh, developing or the collecting for to develop and collect your uh, data in questionnaire, uh, the scaling issue. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, just uh, a six Likert scale or uh, seven level. Likert scale. I don't know, literature just matters. Uh, as to me, I think uh, uh, literature supports either uh, five or seven uh, Likert scales. Uh, these are just my comments, and you will develop through time. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Mr. Gurma, you have any uh, comments for Abdullah? Okay, uh, Abdullah, thank you for your presentation. Uh, it is really a nice idea. Actually, in Ethiopia, some years back, when uh, one official from the Central Bank of Ethiopia explained it to the journalists for a question raised, currently, all the national, uh, the commercial banks operating in the country are only uh, serving only 10% of the market potential. So it just pose a question why uh, only this percent of uh, market potential are being covered by these commercial banks. The reason may be a number of factors like this because of religious factors, as you raised one issue, or it may be because of lack of awareness, remoteness, and some other issues may be raised. So among this, you want to conduct research only on one specific topic. So it becomes a big issue, of course, so that I just say it is an interesting topic to study on. And uh, uh, regarding the comment I have uh, on, uh, of course, uh, most of the questions have been raised by the Maskaram and Taye. Uh, but again, to just uh, strengthen the point, I do have some doubt regarding how the bank finance its expenditures. So that is a very uh, big issue because as I heard from your presentation, there is competing interests. On one side, the community want to open an Islamic banking so that it will serve the community based on the religious norms and principles. On the other side, the bank has to generate an income so as to sustain itself in the market. So this is some computing uh, maybe conflicting things for me. And uh, regarding the theoretical uh, background uh, on which your paper may be based is uh, three. But for me, it's challenging for you to just capture all three, these three different theoretical foundations in a single paper. That's why your conceptual framework is a bit broader uh, that will make uh, for uh, completing the study difficult for you, I hope, because even the variables are um, categorical and the measurement issue there, as uh, Professor Dennis just told you before, 
So, and some of the variables are uh, difficult to measure. They're not actually an actual word. It's like attitude, belief, some behavioral uh, activities. They are difficult to measure. And uh, even to go with these uh, uh, variables, I hope it requires you to conduct a pilot study because you have to clearly identify the understanding of pupils towards this, each of these specific questions. Otherwise, it's uh, difficult to conclude the findings of the study to the nationwide. And even regarding the validity um, and maybe uh, the, the general liability. Liability. Me, me, General liability <laughs> means inferring to the whole nation yeah. how this the finding of the study can be concluded to the whole nation because people should have different attitude, different behavior, so that uh, how it's possible to conclude the finding of the study to all nations having the common uh, behavior or attitude. Mm -hmm. That is uh, what I observe from your paper regarding the issue. It's interesting. Uh, that's uh, what I have for the time. Thank you. Okay, I want to build off uh, Grammar's comments a little bit because I'm thinking a little more as we're looking at your model. And um, mm -hmm. there's another theory in economics called uh, reveal preference. And, you know, I think that might tighten it up just a little bit that you come under one theory. And I think, um, yeah, leading theory, find one uh, uh, leading theory, key theory. Yeah, but I think reveal preference will envelope all the three that you talked about. So I don't think you lose anything, but I think it will essentially boil it down to that. It's almost like signaling. Mm -hmm. That once a person says that I like Islamic or non-Islamic, then they reveal their attitudes and all these other things, it, it make it much sharper. Mm. And I think um, you don't lose anything, but it will it may be focused a little bit. Yeah. And it's not a thing of being critical. It's about basically allowing you to take advantage of your approach. You know, I think, um, you know, the- Pro Professor Dennis, uh, yeah. uh, first, first uh, all of you, I, I will um, I'm, I really appreciate your comments. Uh, some of the comments are which is already I'm sensing in the finding way to fix uh, already the one which is touched by uh, Taye Grima and the professor. Professor, um, uh, regarding theory, financial and the economics theory, here under this financial consideration, I found a prospect theory. Prospect theory is. Uh, yeah, prospect theory is kind of uh, expectation about uh, people's expectation about gain or loss is uh, coming to this, uh, supporting this idea of uh, profit and the loss idea. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I will try to uh, limit my theories, as you say, but uh, very touching issue is that the one which is raised by Tai here. Yeah, the, a lot of inner and the outer variables are there. In, in structural allocation modeling, uh, uh, one variable can be uh, endogenous. Again, it will be exogenous. So this time, uh, I, I, I have to do something regarding uh, clearly uh, differentiating independent variables and the dependent variables and so on. And so on. So uh, I will take this assignment seriously. Um, uh, the other idea is that, uh, yeah, I, I got Taiye. Some of the literatures are starting from uh, this part, then going to the actual use. But the others are coming to the end, from the end. What is the intention? What determine intention? And so on. So what is that is why um, my model is starts from here, which is uh, actual use, 
actual use is depend on the behavioral intention and the other facilitating conditions and so on. So uh, I will leave, I will take the assignment seriously. Uh, uh, sampling related issues still uh, very constructive uh, idea. Pilot survey, validity testing, and so on. It's very that's what I'm coming. What's what's that's why I called you to comment on these issues. So I will take these uh, issues seriously. So. Uh, I'm proposing just an, as an idea. Shall I continue for my dissertation on this idea? <laughs> let me uh, let me um, let me ask another tell you another comment because um, Ms. Bagali picked up on a very good point and everyone's picking up on. I think. You yeah. Know, whether, about you, whether you do it in the dissertation or after the dissertation, you must make some. You must be able to make some connection to the profitability of this uh, about whether, you know, institutions that lean in this regard, do they have survivability? And so you have to talk about that. And that goes to Thais comment about the number of banks and so forth that you, you have to maybe collect some individual balance sheet income data to associate with this different approach to banking. Yeah. Now that doesn't have to be actual empirical study. It can be some type of, you know, maybe descriptive enough, but no one has even done that in terms of descriptive data saying that, and that's the point I'm trying to make to you is that if you, if you put the approach in the economic approach, it yeah. will lead you down that path and this whole idea of, and again, there's, there's, these are theories here. There is reveal preference theory and signaling theories. So the whole point is that as consumers, indicate their preferences, they're signaling a type of attitude behavior, and then you can associate that with banking structure and profitability. And I think that's very valuable. Now, you don't, now you don't have to, you know, you may have done a lot of work here, you may want to go in this direction, and maybe that project is something, a longer term project, maybe a year from now, two from now, maybe that's, but just keep in mind that you have, if you're dedicated to this area, that you may have one or two projects or three projects area that will maybe as data changes over time will allow you to explore more and more. It's not something that you may have to do immediately. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mulder, you have any comments or you say good morning to you or I should say good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon to us. Uh, maybe it's good morning to good you. Morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good morning. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Professor, I just came late. I was uh, trying my connectivity to let me in, but uh, you know, I couldn't manage to hear uh, the last presentation. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm afraid I could give a uh, valuable comment on this. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. okay. okay Professor uh, Dennis? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, there may be power problem in. Uh, the Salings town, Osisa. Yeah, he told so me. I got, I got he will it. join us soon uh, if power can. Right. Okay. okay. So we had a very nice talk. I want to thank you, Abdullah. That was very informative, very interesting. And um, like I mentioned yesterday, it's going to be nice to follow all of you, uh, your career. And so I'll be looking on it um, with a lot of interest. Um, I think so far I've, I've been able to um, pair you with, I think, some, some good professionals. So keep me posted on that. Let me know how that goes. Um, so far, all, everyone has, has agreed to uh, participate as, as best as they can. If they do not participate, let me know, and I will try to uh, pair you with someone else. So if we don't get it right the first time, we'll try a second time, a third time, a fourth time. We keep going until we get it right, okay? Okay. And so, uh, you know, uh, if you need if you need to contact me, contact me by email. I will get back to you. If you want to do a Zoom, we can do like a Zoom like this. If you have questions or comments about things, and uh, I enjoyed you guys very much, and um, hopefully we'll we'll keep, keep in contact. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Enjoy your day. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, take care. Goodbye, Professor. Thank you. Have a nice time. Take care. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. We wish you the best. Thank you.